Aries and welcome to your January 18th through to the 24th weekly reading. So I'm using a new deck today. I'm using a deck that was given to me by my son over the holidays as a gift and it's the Cat Tarot. So I hope you enjoy the cards and the images on the cards and if you don't like cats I apologize. Okay, so Aries, your overall energy for the week is the King of Cups. And in your love relationships and romance, you have the Moon, and it is clarified by the Two of Pentacles and the Magician. And in your Money Career Finance, we have the, we have the Eight of Wands. And it is being clarified by the King of Wands and it is by the Seven of Cups. So Aries, your overall energy for the week is that the King of Cups. So this really indicates that this week, um, if you use trust, if you trust in your generosity and your kindness, that this will lead to success for you. And this seems to be the energy that you're putting out there this week, is you're very, um, you're very kind, charming, wise, you're sensitive this week. And people are drawn to you this week because of that. You might even be finding that you're in a little bit of a leadership this role this week, where insofar as people are coming to you, so this could be in the work environment, this could even be in your personal life, but people are coming to you and seeking your advice this week. So you could find that. Now, in your love and relationships, we have the moon. And the moon, this is really an energy of trusting your intuition, trusting yourself. But the, the moon is also telling you that um, that anything that you have that you've been kept, you've kept buried or you've kept hidden, you might have even have been repressing your emotions, um, repressing, expressing your feelings, expressing intimacy with someone if you are in a relationship, that this is time for you to kind of tap into that energy and bring it out. The moon can also be indicating for those of you who are single and looking that rather to, to start listening to your intuition, trusting your intuition and use that to kind of Focus on what kind of an individual you're looking for in a relationship and what qualities is it that you're looking for and that you want to see. You have it being clarified by the Two of Pentacles and the Magician. So it does look like um, if you are single and you're looking for someone here with the Magician card, this is really about you having a vision of what you want. So basically having an, a vision of an ideal relationship that you want and making it a reality. So this is about you going out, taking action to go and get that and have that in your life. Now with the Two of Pentacles also here, this is indicating that um, that you're, it is a card of multitasking. Usually we do associate it with the material world, but this could represent that one of the things that you could be struggling with in your relationships this week is that balance, that work-life balance here with the Two of Pentacles. So this would relate to all of your relationships, Aries, where you're just struggling to create that balance. Uh, there could be more pressures at home, for example, and um, and then with things going on at work, and there's coupled with that, that you're just finding that you're very stretched thin this week. Uh, it also tells you, though, to seek balance and avoid pressure and to not rush into any decisions or into any agreements this week and also make sure that you keep your kind of kind of keep your eye on the prize on your long-term goals in your relationships and uh, don't let yourself get too distracted it's also make sure that you're taking some time to rest and relax um, this week if you do find that you are feeling overly stressed with the multitasking energy here and having a lot of things on the go um, so make sure that you are doing that in your money career finance, you have the Eight of Wands. So a lot of changes here, and it's being clarified by the King of Wands and the Seven of Cups. So I like seeing these here as clarifiers. So with the Eight of Wands there, this is, and you see in this picture here, the wind has blown, a bunch of leaves are falling, and these are all these opportunities. Things are happening quickly. The cat is bouncing around, jumping around and chasing all of these leaves. 
So this indicates that there's a lot of quick energy coming in this week and there could be a lot of changes going on this week for you in your money career finance. So this could be about job opportunities, job offers that have come in, changes in your career, a, a particular project, um, a new project is beginning. It can even indicate um, something along the line of investments as well and that there's changes happening within investments a lot of information coming quickly so you could be finding that you're pulling money out of stocks reinvesting them into other things so things like that going on this week but you also have the king of wands and this is a very beautiful energy and Aries you are a fire sign so you are the king of wands so this does represent you coming out in your reading here but with the king of wands this is someone who is very charismatic charming people are drawn to him he's got a lot of fire he is pure fire um he's in this is you about you being a natural role model here um and kind of being that that ruler of the jungle like a lion and uh so it, it's about you really taking control of things that are offered to you and not hesitating to take advantage of opportunities as they present themselves and it looks like this week there's lots of opportunities with this seven of cups here um the seven of cups off is about having many options many different opportunities for emotional fulfillment so it does look like whatever's happening in your money career finance not only are you passionate and excited about you, about it not only are you taking control this week but there's also all of these options that are opening up for you and it looks like whatever it is it will lead to you being happy it's emotional fulfillment here so Aries, this concludes your reading. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope you enjoyed the, the uh, new deck. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, click on that notification bell, and I will see you next time. Stay safe. Take care.